Victor Von Doom, more commonly known as Doctor Doom, is one of Marvel's most notorious villains. An intelligent scientist and a distinguished sorcerer, throughout his life Doom envisioned himself bringing order and betterment to the Earth through world conquest. He served as a monarch and supreme leader of the Kingdom of Latveria. To reach his goal of world conquest, it would come at the cost of great bloodshed. But when in his life did Doctor Doom first have to kill? Victor's path to become the supreme leader of Latveria was not always smooth sailing. Victor was born to Werner and Cynthia von Doom. His mother was a sorceress who practiced in the dark arts which only worried Werner, as he felt that dabbling with demons would only bring death and sorrow to their family. However, Cynthia believed that she was doing all of these things to pave a path to a better life for her son Victor and her family. One night, Victor's mother lost control over one of her spells and she was taken over by a demon. Being manipulated by the demon, Cynthia made her way to town to take out her anger on the Baron and his men who had been giving her and her gypsy friends trouble. Empowered through the dark arts, Cynthia killed a lot of the Baron's men, but in the process killed innocent men, women, and children as well. When she was no longer possessed by the demon, she was distraught by her actions and was greeted by the angry townspeople who attacked in retaliation. Cynthia ran for her life into the forest only to fall at the hands of one of the men. Werner was able to make his way to his wife as she took her last breaths. Her final words to her husband were to keep young Victor away from the dark arts, or he would end up just like her and seek revenge for her death through sorcery. After her death, Victor's father arranged a funeral for his beloved wife Cynthia. After the funeral, their fellow gypsies wanted to blame Werner and Victor and kick them out of their group. Victor couldn't believe what was being said about his mother at her own funeral and at the young age of four he stood up for himself and his family by yelling at the adults telling them to shut up. If they were to kick him and his father out of their camp, he promised he would go on to become a sorcerer just like his mother in order to end their pathetic lives. Years went by and the little gypsy band lived peacefully. One day, Werner and a few men were getting ready to head out to see the Baron's ill wife to see if they could help heal her. Victor was irate at the idea of helping the Baron after the death of his mother but his father reassured him that he would return safely. Shortly after, in the middle of the night, Werner returned and told Victor to pack his bags and get ready to leave. Werner had been unable to save the life of the Baron's wife, and the Baron became enraged, blaming the Doom family for her passing. Werner and Victor made their escape in the night into the woods while the Baron's men hunted them down like animals. To keep Victor warm in the cold winter night, his father cradled his son with his arms around him. When the morning came, Victor found his father was freezing to death, clinging on to life. They were rescued by their fellow gypsies shortly after, but his father still passed away. With the passing of both his mother and father, Victor clung to his mother's strongbox full of magical supplies and books of spells. His studies of the magic arts began at a young age, but he was never able to excel to the level of his mother. Over the years, he began to be more invested in science and was a prodigy in creating new weapons to protect the lives of his fellow gypsies. He quickly became the leader of their band at the age of 16. One night, after a failed attempt to reach his mother through the magic arts, one of the Baron's men ran into Victor on patrol. The man held Victor at gunpoint and began to express how happy he was because of the bounty on Victor's head. In self-defense, Victor disarmed the man while his guard was down thinking about all he could have with his reward that he would receive from Victor. Victor quickly began to choke the guard and didn't let up in the lightest, ending the guard's life. After strangling the man to death, Victor became internally conflicted about taking the life of another individual. As he pondered his actions through the night, he was met by an American man who was there to offer Victor a scholarship in America. He wasted no time getting out of his current situation and would go on to study at State University where he would study alongside Reed Richards or Mr. Fantastic, who would ultimately become one of his rivals.